We recently did a really fun shoot with a gym client of ours, and so I just wanted to run you guys through it and give you a behind the scenes look at how we approach these types of shoots. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel and I run a creative agency that produces video and photo content for fitness, beauty and e-commerce brands. If you want to learn more about filmmaking or see more behind the scenes videos like this, then be sure to subscribe. The client wanted to produce a video to promote their upcoming eight week challenge. Because they were organizing a group of members to come into the studio, we decided it would be a good idea to shoot more than what we needed to create a bank of footage that we can use for future edits. We also filmed some quick client testimonials as most of the members they organized were coming up to their 100th class, so they wanted to share something on socials when that time came. For this shoot, we used the Sony FX3 with the 24-70 on a gimbal and the Sony a7S III and again with another Sigma 24 to 70 built out on my handheld rig, which I do have a separate YouTube video for that if you wanna check that out up here. Once I started shooting for about five minutes, I realized I just wanted to shoot pure handheld as it was just more high energy and suited the overall vibe of the project better. For lighting, we set up a series of Nanlite products throughout the space. Due to the fact that there is a lot of mirrors in most gyms, we decided to set up the lights to be in frame, but we just didn't set up giant soft boxes as that would have stuck out and be way more obvious than just using barn doors like we opted for. The Nanlite FS150 was placed towards the back of the room and the Nanlite Forza 60B was placed in the opposite corner towards the other end of the room. We also set up two Nanlite Pivo tubes up against some boxes to just add some more lighting to the space. What I love about Pivo tubes is that because they're battery powered and you don't need a stand, they look pretty cool in frame. There were four main focus areas for this project. The Pilates room, the strength room, one-on-one -on -one personal training and the community vibes. I had a rough timeline and list of key shots I wanted to capture and just let the client run the group through a few exercises in each space. I would start off by taking wide shots of the group working out and then focus in on one or two people for that exercise. During their rest break, I got them to do some sort of interactions with each other so I could just get some extra filler footage. Once we moved into the strength room, we also set up the Nanlite Mix Panel 150 as it was really dark in this space. This is also where we ended up shooting the testimonials as the backdrop looked really cool. All in all, the shoot went really well. It was a lot of fun and the content we ended up producing looks amazing. I'm super happy with it and so is the client. If you're interested in seeing all of the finished videos, then head to the webpage linked below.